The Election Commission of India announced the schedules for the assembly elections in Maharashtra and Jharkhand. While Jharkhand will vote in two rounds on November 13 and on November 20, Maharashtra will go to polls in a single phase on November 20, whereas results will be announced on November 23rd. In Maharashtra, the current Legislative Assembly's tenure will end on November 26, 2024. However, it will be remembered for multiple reasons. Well, during its term, the Assembly witnessed three Chief Ministers, Devendra Fadnavis from BJP, who served for just 80 hours. Then there was Uthav Thakre from Shiv Sena, who held office for two and a half years. And then came Eknath Shinde from Shiv Sena, who assumed leadership for the remaining term. The opposition was led by Fadnavis, Ajit Pawar from NCP and Vijay Vadetiwar from Congress. Ajit Pawar made a mark in Indian politics by serving as deputy CM three times under different chief ministers. Whereas Fadnavis's role transitioned from chief minister to deputy chief minister amid internal pressure in the BJP. The assembly also saw two speakers, Nala Patole from Congress and Rahul Narvekar from BJP, while Narhari Zirwal from NCP served as deputy speaker for the entire five years. The political climate transformed dramatically after the October 24, 2019 elections, leading to a fractured mandate. Historically, Maharashtra's politics revolved around the Shiv Sena and BJP alliance, that is the Mahayuti and the Congress-NCP coalition. Following the 2014 elections, the BJP emerged dominant, leading to a fractured relationship with the Shiv Sena. The 2019 elections further complicated matters, enabling Sharad Pawar to orchestrate the formation of the Mahavikas Aghadi, challenging BJP's hegemony. The Assembly's stability was shattered when Eknath Shinde rebelled, culminating in a swift change of leadership. Ajit Pawar's revolt against Sharad Pawar marked another significant shift. Today, Uddhav Thakre and Sharad Pawar lead their respective factions, while Shinde and Ajit Pawar hold distinct party symbols. Now, as Maharashtra approaches the 2024 Assembly elections, the political landscape remains uncertain, hinting at further surprises ahead. What are your views? Do comment and let us know. Till then, keep watching India TV.